Right, well good morning. We've finally hooked up to our first fish after about an hour. And I'm hoping this is going to be a nice mackerel that we might be able to put down for a live bait. We're out in 75 metres, just giving ourselves a chance at a harpocker because they are in the area. And also got a jig down. That's what we wanted. Lots of bait. Look at those for baits. Perfect marlin bait. go. Right, down he goes. All the way to the bottom. He's not happy. While waiting for a bite on the bottom, I noticed these tiny little bait fish. This is often what the tuna out here are feeding on. It's very hard to tell what they are, but they're either juvenile kingfish or tiny jack mackerel. Yeah, little kingies, I think they are. A few hours went by in the mill pond conditions, and the live bait remained untouched. It's not always on fire out here at the drop-off, so I decided to pack it in and head a bit closer to look for a kingfish with this live bait. I parked up on a bit of fowl that I knew in about 40 metres, and set the burley to see what else I could find. And it didn't take long for a fish to find my fish bite. There we go. Obviously this reef was holding a few good blue cod. So I decided to chuck the camera down and see what was actually hiding down there. With the camera on the bottom capturing some spectacular images, my other rod was busy hooking up to more blue cod. This 
this was another nice fat fish around the 36 centimeter mark so I took the hook out and put it on the ice often when fishing these reefs the bites come thick and fast and you've got to pick up the rod quickly or the fish will swallow the hook yeah, buddy. this time I'd reeled in one of those little tarakihi that we could see on the bottom Although they're legal at this size, he's much too small, so I let him go. Heading back down onto the bottom, and we have a blue cod, almost mid-water, eating my lure. This big one going past in the background is the one I actually want to catch. Check out how many blue cod and tarakihi are sitting over the top of this rock. The fish seemed to be a bit shy in front of the camera, but it didn't stop me from hooking up on my other rod regularly. This time it was a double hook up of blue cod, and both looked to be almost in. A quick measure and this one came out to 35 centimeters, so a perfect little fat fish to take home. The next fish up had a bit more pull. It was another lovely tarakihi around the 30 centimeter mark, but not big enough for me, and he made his escape off the measure board anyway. This hookup was different again, with quite a bit more weight and nothing going on on the way up. Ah, red banded. This time it was a double of perch, two different species too. One a red banded, and the other a normal sea perch. Just behind me, I had set a little sea perch live bait, and it looks like it had got picked up. Oh, something's got that. Just let it go. Something's had him. Something's definitely been trying to eat this sea perch. Possible crayfish. I feel like this was a pretty good guess as my camera had just been filming this moments before. Back on the rod, it was another hookup and another small tarakihi coming to the surface. Quick measure for later reference, and then back in the water after a little bit of confusion, and off back to the reef. This time we're going to send a soft plastic down, and see if that'll take any interest of any of the blue cod down there.
and as soon as it got down, the Tabakihi of all things was straight into it. Now you probably know what happens next, the pickers got straight into it, and this leather jacket ate it like it was a noodle, sucking the soft plastic right up into his mouth and destroying it in seconds. Check out how quickly the leather jackets can destroy your soft bait completely. Now that it was a manageable bait, the Tadakihi seemed to be really interested in the much smaller profile, and they began attacking it. I've cut down around an hour of footage for you to enjoy, so I'm going to put a bit of music over, grab your popcorn, and enjoy this great look at one of my local reefs. Make sure to keep an eye out underneath the Tadakihi for all the crayfish that are crawling around.
With a few nice blue cod in the bin and the bite starting to slow down, I pulled the anchor up and headed off for another spot to try and target something different. I set up over some sand and dropped down some fish bites and waited to see what would turn up. After a short wait, I had my first fish on the camera hooked up. Amazing that this kahawai could still clear the water with a big heavy camera behind him. He swam around in circles below the boat a few times, giving us a cool look at how they eject their food when they want to get something out of their mouth. I let him circle around and calm down before pulling him aboard to take the hook out. Resetting the baits quickly, it was apparent there were quite a few kahawai in the area. This time, I had two kahawai dragging the camera up to the surface after a double hookup. I unhooked both fish as they weren't the target species and threw them back into the ocean to keep growing. And it wouldn't be long before it was swarmed again. Holy shit! It was another huge pack attack, but this time only one of the kahawai stuck. I quickly got him aboard too, got the hook out, and got him away. And for our final fish of the day, I spotted him on the camera before I caught him on the rod. Come on, be a snapper. Yes! Did you look at that? Shallowest snapper I've ever caught out here. 19.5. And he's in. To add to the cod. After that tough start, I turned the day around and it was time to head in back through the surf. Well that's going to be it for this week's upload. I wanted to thank Mike on Patreon once again and you know where to go if you want to support. Have a good one everyone and I'll see you in 7 days.